it was victory for democracy and a victory for common sense. Uh, like the people uh, having witnessed two sides of the coin uh, decided which one to go with. Uh, whether to go with continuity of poverty and lack of salary or to go back to a period where uh, salaries were paid promptly, uh, kids enjoyed free and qualitative education, there was social security for the elderly, there was uh, free health care for uh, the vulnerable segments of our population. And that's what we're about in APC. A lot of work we are doing at the federal level, uh, people want to benefit from empower, they want to benefit from uh, market money, they want to benefit from uh, agric uh, support schemes in a manner that they haven't benefited under the government that is in office there now. So really, it's a victory for common sense. And it's also a seal of approval for the policies of the federal government. So will you prove the agreeing government? I think journalists like sensation. I just want to get on with my work. Don't forget, I was governor there before. And what our people really need now is immediate soccer. If you have not earned salaries for six to ten months, you just want somebody to provide an immediate reprieve. Whether we look into the books of the Algorin administration or not, is a routine administrative matter. Every government would embark on routine administrative uh, activities. The question is, does that constitute a pro in a punitive sense of the word? No, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in knowing what had transpired in the last three and a half to four years in equity state. I'm interested in knowing why we haven't been able to pay salaries in a state that used to pay salaries regularly. And I'm interested in ensuring that good governance, transparency, and accountability become the watchword of government. Uh, okay. So for me, so, it, it's, a, it's a nomenclature issue, probe, review, uh, examine. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a professor. What is the actual plan to actually put them on the progressive path? To put it the equity is traditionally progressive. Okay. Since the days of your, since the days of Obafemi it has always been traditionally progressive. And that's why when you experience a blight, such as we have in the last three and a half to four years, you can see a palpable sense of hopelessness, uh, despondency, and despair in the populace, which is what was being reacted to. When I was governor uh, four years ago, Ekiti has the highest life expectancy in Nigeria since 2014. Ekiti has the lowest maternal mortality mortality rate in this country. Ekiti has the lowest child mortality rate in this country. Ekiti has the lowest HIV prevalence in Nigeria when I was governor. So, and those were not accidental occurrences. They were products of policies and programs that really are uh, paid attention to our people. Our government was people-centric in every step of the way. So that's basically what progressive politics and progressive ideology is about. It's about lifting up the weak and the vulnerable in society. That's what APC is about. So, 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 so what, what new projects are you expect? bringing to the APC people now that you one new program, I, I am tried, I am tested, and that is why people have come to that same realization that look, it's better to go back to a government that we know that we can predict and we know what it's going to do for our people, and uh, than to remain in the ambit of a directionless journey without maps. Uh, so. For, for, for our people, they're clear what I'm going to do. My agenda has always been very clearly well known. And those are the things that were stopped in the last four years. Our free education, qualitative education program was stopped. Now, in the last four years, 
children in school pay for their laptop, they pay for jam, they pay for wire, they pay for neko. When I was governor, government took responsibility for all this. We provided laptop computers for our kids, we provided uniform, we provided uh, food, we, we, we did everything to ensure, and that's why it has the highest enrollment of school pupils in Nigeria. When I was governor, 98% enrollment. Today, it has the lowest enrollment in the whole of the Southwest because parents cannot afford to send their children to school because they're not even earning salaries. They're owed six months. Yet, the government of the day in Ekiti is forcing them to pay fees for even kindergarten kids. So, how do you send children to school when the parents are not earning anything? You don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that these is excruciating poverty and pain that our people are going through. And that's what we have to put a stop to and restart the developmental block that has been violently arrested in the kitty in the last four years. So yes. what will you be doing different this time around that you didn't do in the last four years? I will be publicizing every little thing I do. <laughs> I used to be a very self-effacing governor when I was in office the last time, because I believe that my work should speak for me. Which is why I'm talking to you now, I'm excited to talk to you. I would have dodged this when I was governor four years ago. The essence of governance in Nigeria, unfortunately, is that even when you think you want to be modest and to do your work quietly, your work does not always speak for you. So you have to make your work shout and speak. Uh, and I'm going to do quite a bit of that this time around. Thank you. 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 And our people is to ensure that APC wins that election. And everything that it takes constitutionally to win that election, we will win.